Well, it's coming up, the big reunion, September 10th, 2021. I guess they're shooting. It's gonna be interesting, this reunion. I guess Erica Jane felt that Kyle Richards was showing that she was more on side with her than she really was, which came out in some of the scenes that Erica wasn't there for. So I guess Erica didn't realize that Kyle was, you know, spending time with Sutton off camera. The producers probably didn't let her know. And then, you know, she finds out that Kyle is sort of, you know, wavering back and forth between whether she's guilty or not, which is bad for her because Kyle's known her for a long time. So the fact that Dorit and Kyle, two of her longest friends on the show are not having her back says something. It's uh, It says something, at least from the standpoint that her lawyers aren't going to like, okay? Her lawyers would want her to have like a good character witness. Now, I know it's a show and the nature of the show is for people to be catty to each other, but, uh, you know, it doesn't, from a perception perspective, it doesn't bode well for Erica to have uh, a few of her friends that have shot the show with her for like six years saying everything that she's ever done seems like it's been a lie, which is pretty much what Dorit said, that basically everything that Erica Girardi has presented to her over the years of shooting doesn't seem to be accurate or true. So that isn't great for Erica because she's trying not to look like a liar at the moment. That's like the big question, you know, is she lying? Is she not lying about what she knew? So it's not great for her to have that kind of allegation out there. My prediction is that Erica is going to attack Dorit and Kyle at the reunion. I think she's going to, with Dorit, bring up some of the financial troubles that have been made public over the season, although the producers may or may not show it. It depends how it happens because um, they tend not to show conflict that wasn't involved in the storyline. So like since that was brought up publicly, um, a lot, but it wasn't Dorit's like financial woes were brought up publicly, but they weren't brought up uh, on the show. So it's, a, you know, I don't know if they'll let that stay there. It was my experience that they don't, they often won't let it stay in there if the fans didn't hear about it on the show itself. So we'll have to see. But sometimes if it's too good, they can't cut it. So I don't know. Now, I don't know how she'll go after Kyle. I really don't. She's already said that she's gonna go for Kyle because she feels betrayed that Kyle wavered, uh, you know, like I mentioned. So she said in her Twitter, I'm coming for Kyle basically, like, you know, paraphrasing, but yeah, crazy. Hmm, what do I think about that? What could she say against Kyle? I mean, the only thing is Mauricio, the rumors of him cheating, but it wasn't a storyline in this season, only in past seasons. And it was brought up by Brandy and Brandy pretty much made it up. She like just heard about it in the rumor mill online, which there's a lot of that, by the way. So, uh, hmm, how would she attack Kyle? You're not a loyal friend. I mean, uh, blah, blah, blah. We've heard all this shit before, you know, I don't know. This is gonna be a strange reunion. Last year's wasn't that great, so I hope they step it up this year. Now, if I was one of the women on that day, I would definitely be saying, I would be bringing it so hard on Erica because that is the only way that you're gonna be triumphant at the reunion this year, period, the end. It, it just doesn't matter. Like, you have to come so hard and you have to go, like, you cannot show any weakness to Erica because she will use it. So all I know is like Sutton better like get bigger balls even than she has now. Everybody better stand their ground because the fans will never forgive them if they back down. So no matter what like piercing look she does or like kung fu move she brings, like <laughs> they better stand their ground and you know, call a spade a spade. Like, you know, they have to say, like, you're a liar. I don't believe you cried once was real. I don't believe anything you say anymore. I don't think your life was what you said. You said you were like a lawyer. 
So anyway, the last Twitter Erica did was someone just sent me yummy cannolis. So good night, Twitter. I'm going to enjoy myself, y'all dumb bitches, and the conspiracy theories will keep at it all night. Check back in the AM. Um, I don't know, man. I I guess what I really want to say about this tweet is, Erica, you probably shouldn't have the cannolis because I've seen you pack on a little weight this season, sweetheart. But anyway, um, it's true. I'm not going to, you know, I mean, shit, Lisa called me chubby. Okay, so you shouldn't call your fans dumb bitches or whatever bitches. I don't know, like, what is happening? And where's all this overwhelming support she keeps saying she has? I don't know. Maybe she just should put her tits back on the Instagram again and call it a day because that seemed to be working for her for a while. Maybe Fenty will give her contract back. Okay, so let's move on. Let me see if Kyle's mentioned anything about this. Another day on her Instagram, the night that The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, you know, another titled show, you know, Dinner Party from Hell episode or whatever. They use it over and over again. Anyway, on that, she put um, just one word on her Instagram. I was so tempted just to put like Wilkie, period, <laughs> just to be weird. But she put um, Girardi, period. So I think what that meant, just to say it, I'm not sure what you guys thought it meant, but I think it meant like Tom Girardi's guilty of everything and I'm not guilty of anything. And she was kind of separating herself from the Girardi last name, you know, like I'm Erica Jane not Girardi. So that's what I think that cryptic message meant. A lot of you guys asked me about that. So I don't know. Did it work? Were you guys like, oh yeah, you're right. It's all Tom's fault. Did that, that make that happen for you? Let me know. So like what's incredible is even after Erica, Girardi, Jane sort of says she's coming for Kyle, Kyle goes on her Twitter and she's like, Sutton and I are good. But I never said that Erica ever lied to me. She's never lied to me. So she backpedals a little bit. And then she goes on to say that in the backyard with Sutton, she says that she's kind of got Erica's back. And she hopes that she doesn't eat crow or you remember the crow conversation. And like, so in other words, that's her standing up for Erica, Jane Girardi. But let's just call the spade a spade. She hardly stood up for Erica. She did not get at that dinner table where Erica started bawling and tell everyone, hey, back the fuck off her. I believe her. Where was that moment? Okay, just don't worry about what was on camera. Worry about what wasn't. And that is the big question. So now I'm going to go rant because I can't. I really like Kyle, generally speaking, but I'm just not on this show. And I'm just going to say why, okay? So I'm on Kyle's Twitter. And tw she writes the following, okay? This is after Erica like seemingly comes for her on her Twitter. She says, in tonight's episode, I said to Sutton in her backyard that Erica has never lied to me. Sutton spoke and it overlapped me so you couldn't hear it well, but that is the truth. I've never known Erica Jane to be a liar. Okay, J just so we're clear, Kyle, you never stood up for Erica either. Like there was not one moment on this show where you were like, you sh you know, except like a very like lame kind of, you know, attempt with, with Sutton in the backyard, okay? Which wasn't a really strong, like where were you at the dinner party where you could have been like, Erica's not a liar, everybody back off. So I picked the Pinocchio filter because we already know that Kyle, has had her, she's lied to her already about the car accident she's lied to her about her having a good marriage with tom she's lied to her about saying she's going to be with tom till the end of her you know his life she's lied that she never once mentioned that he was cheating on her and now it's it seems like it was happening weekly and it, like she was having threesomes with people comes out like, so how can Kyle ever say that she never lied to her? It's so bullshit. It's such a chicken shit thing at this point to even do. I don't even understand it. And now Erica's coming for her and she's backing down. And for once she has an opportunity not to have to because this girl really deserves the attack, the fight, the whatever. I'm so confused by Kyle, seriously. I really can't. You know, like, just forget it, everyone. You can't be friends in real life on this show.
So going into the reunion, here's where I stand. I'm dying to hear where you guys stand, but this is where I stand. I'm upset with Kyle for being two-faced and especially after I think she like called me that or a kiss ass or something. So like, who's the kiss ass now, Kyle? I really, really mean that, okay? Like, wow, she's wishy-washy on this one. She's not a good friend to Erica and she's not, and she's not even standing by her convictions. Like she has no convictions. She just like goes with the wind. Um, so Kyle, is like deep D on this season. Okay, ready? I love Sutton. I'm loving what she, she didn't have a lot to work with and she made it really, really great. God bless you Sutton for standing your ground and don't let these bitches intimidate you. I also, Garcelle, I'm sort of like uh, eh, about, she like is really um, great TV to watch. I, and at least happy, Dorit really came back strong this last week. Like up till now, I could have just said, just kick her off the show, I wouldn't even notice. But Dorit came so good with this last episode. She really stood her ground. She really called Erica out. I know that wasn't easy for her. So like I'm, I'm getting back in Dorit's, um, I'm like forgiving Dorit for all of her, you know, sketchy lifestyle now for a minute just for a hot minute. Um, Garcelle, I, I don't know. I'm like, as I mentioned, uh, I, I'm kind of like, whatever. I kind of feel like Garcelle is a shit stir and she's not willing to put herself out there. So that's annoying to me. Like you better, if you're going to bring it for everybody else, you better bring it for yourself too. Can't be like one sided because that's what Lisa Vanderpump did. And it doesn't work. It end up, it ends up Maybe that the reason that bothers me so much is I've been on the show with someone like that because that's the way Brandy Glanville was. She would be like, she would go for your Achilles heel, like, and then pretend like she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I just smashed your Achilles heel. And then, you know, you would go turn around and bring it to her in the same dirty a-hole way. And she would be like, you know, boo-hooing and crying and trying to make the fans feel bad. And you're like, I can't believe this woman has the audacity to bring it to the level that she does. But then when you reciprocate, she's like, oh, poor me. It's just, it's so annoying to shoot with someone like that. Anywho, um, what else? Okay, who am I forgetting on the show? Let me think. I said Kyle, he was, yeah, D. Who else? Oh, Kathy Hilton. Um, I think she's funny. I'll leave it there. Let's see, <laughs> what else? So I'm gonna give Crystal Minkoff a break because it's her first season and it's just so hard to go on the show the first season. So I'm just gonna not even rate her because, you know, it's so hard. I just, I know what that's like. And so next season I'll rate Crystal if she comes back. Um, as far as Erica Jane Girardi, I absolutely think that I appreciate that she did the show for the half million dollar paycheck that they're probably giving her. And I know she's gonna milk this for all it's worth after a book and all sorts of things if, if she doesn't get indicted. But I do believe that, you know, uh, it was probably from a legal standpoint, a very risky move to do this show. And I guess she did her best. You know, she's definitely giving a deposition the entire show. So, but for balls, I mean, I give her A plus for balls. Now that said, I think she's a horrible person because she didn't even apologize to the victims on behalf of her corrupt, disgraceful husband. I mean, she could have at least done that. She didn't. She, I do believe she's a complete narcissist, like absolutely number one to herself only. Like she, there is only room for her, for her. In her life. Um, I probably won't get what I want to have happen at the reunion, which is for someone to just, you know, call her out on all of her bullshit and have her, you know, address it. I'm sure she's just going to cry like the victim and, you know, be like your friend, you've all betrayed me. You know, I mean, I just, I don't know how it's going to be really hard to stomach this reunion. Oh God, I'm going to have to get so drunk. Maybe I'll do a drunk video during it. I can't show it on YouTube though. 
I don't have the copyright to show what I'm watching, but maybe you guys could hear it in the background and then I could comment on it because I'm definitely going to have to have a few for that. Get through that one. Okay, you guys. So let me know what you think about um, your like feeling on it just because I think this way. It doesn't mean you have to, obviously. I love, uh, you know, an open forum. You know that I'm, I love it. So please, you know, say whatever. I love it. Let me know. Okay. Don't forget to go and get the next level gossip on Dishing Drama, Dana Wilkie on the Patreon. You don't want to miss what's on there. Follow me on Instagram, Wilkie underscore Dana. Follow me on Twitter at Dana Wilkie. Mwah.